So I was asked a number of questions and I'll try to answer them one after the other. The first question I was asked is, what is devotion? Devotion, of course, is a translation of the Sanskrit term bhakti. So what is bhakti? Our founder Acharya Srila Prabhupada, he translated bhakti as devotional service. Uh, devotion is a thing of the heart, yes. But unless the devotion is expressed through service, then we may question where is the devotion. If we say, I love you, I love you, but that's all, I don't do anything for you, then I, one might start to wonder what is that love, what is that devotion. We are showing devotion for so many living entities, for our wife, for our children, for our parents. But really, the real object of devotion is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Lord Sri Krishna. We are simply meant to love Krishna. He has created us for that purpose. And to love him means to serve him. So, that is devotion. Devotional service. Devotional service is the eternal function of the living entity. It is actually very natural to us. As I said, we are trying to love, always trying to find somebody to love. But we are never satisfied in that attempt at giving our love. And of course, the expectation, the hope is that there will be some love given in return. But until we learn how to love Krishna, we will never be satisfied. Because we are longing for unlimited love. We are longing for eternal love. And it is only Krishna who can give that. Nobody else has that capacity to fully satisfy our, our thirst for loving reciprocation. So, also as I mentioned, we are actually created by the Lord to love Him. He wants love also, just like we want love. God is like us. And just to have the chance to have loving reciprocation. He has created all of his parts and parcels, all of the unlimited living entities. So part of that arrangement is also that he has given us freedom to love him, because love cannot be forced. Love must be voluntary. So in that means we must have the freedom to choose are we going to love God or are we not going to love Him? That is part of the deal, that is a necessary ingredient for the loving reciprocation. So, some of us have chosen not to love Him, not to love Krishna. That is the unfortunate consequence of our freedom, that some of us will misuse that freedom, some few of us. Unfortunately, we are in that category, but now we have to correct it and again learn to love Krishna. Uh, 